Hi everyone, this is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. I do apologize for the noise outside there. It's one of the main roads and it's almost that time people are heading home from work. So I'm going to do a reading here. Could be for one of you or many of you. I have no idea, but I felt I needed to start the reading. Three of Wands. Three of Wands. Usually I'll set all the five cards first and then we'll start with the reading. So the first one, Three of Wands. Alright. And then let's see here. What else do we have for the viewers? Ooh. Five of Wands. A lot of passion going on here. Ooh. All right. So, let's see if I'm lined up here. Ooh, there's one. Ace of Wands. Everything's about the Wands. Passionate. A lot of passion. Passionate communication. King of Wands. This is definitely for a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right, what else do we have for someone or many in the collective? So I'm starting the readings again. Now that we're settled in our new home and uh, most of the health issues have been dealt with, that they're being dealt with. A lot of it had to do with diet. So changing the diet, changing lifestyle. A lot of change. Whew. Okay, the Emperor. Well, look at that. Could be an Aries sign. Could be an Aries reading as well. It's very possible. So, let's see here. Three of Wands, Five of Wands, Ace of Wands, King of Wands, The Emperor. Ooh-wee. Three of Wands is usually about waiting for your ships to come in. You've, you've, you've made a decision in something that you were passionate about going towards, and now you're waiting for the results. Five of Wands is usually about conflict. It's usually about, like, arguments, oh, petty things, little things, trying to gain, like, it's, it's trying to gain understanding, but everyone has their, everyone's trying to make a point. Nobody's listening to each other, basically. And, and like, here you see all these, this is the, uh, the witch's tarot, the mini one, but it's still the same. And all these witches in, in this scenario here, they're, they're arguing who's going to put what ingredient first. And all they had to do was each pick an ingredient and put it in, you know. Um, so it's passionately communicating that you are right. <laughs> it could cause some arguments. So you're waiting for things to come in, but there's arguments that are kind of getting in the way. Let's see here, the Ace of Wands. In this depiction here, it's like um, in the smoke of the fire. It's like all her desires, everything, everything she dreams about in this depiction here. And she's like, there's so many options. Do I go for truth? Do I go for wisdom? Uh, like truth would be the sword. Wisdom is the book. Uh, do I go for... Uh, treasure, which is the map. Do I go for arts? Like so many things that she's interested in. But the king comes after and says, look, you got to make a decision. You got to be strong, strong willed. Yes, but pick a direction and go into it. And, uh, and then when you do pick a direction, when you do finally make a choice, then you will be sitting on your throne as the emperor. And everything will come to you. So, Aries, this is mostly for Aries, I have a feeling. 
a lot of you Aries out there have been setting things up for something you wanted. And, and you know, you can feel it, you can sense it. Things are coming step by step. You're waiting for things to line up. In the meanwhile, there's arguments going on. Now, this could be on the outside, but first, it would also be your own self-doubt on the inside, right? So, which would create the outer reality to be so. And then, and then in the middle, it's all about this. It's all about what it is you desire. Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to... Like, all these things, this could be, like, for advancement in your career. Uh, it could be, like what you'd like to see for your next, you know, what you'd like to see in yourself, what you'd like to accomplish. There we go. There's the word I was looking for. What you'd like to accomplish for yourself according to your own interests. And, and yes, you may have set some things up, like got the education you needed. Now you're waiting on job offers because you applied at a whole bunch of jobs. In the meanwhile, you're going through an internal struggle going, oh, with a lot of self-doubt, saying, oh, no one's going to want me and all that. And I'm just fresh, brand new from this this education. And I don't have the experience except just the education. And then, but in the middle, it's all about, I want this, I want this. But it says, pick a direction. It says, make your mind stable, steady, calm your desires, Pick one direction, go into it. Then you'll be sitting in. See, he's at, you'll be more at peace. You'll have the scepter, like he's holding a scepter. He's got a cat on his lap and a dog beside him, and they're both very calm and sleeping. And he's got the stars of the map on the bottom. Uh, the map of the stars, I mean. It looks like the map of different constellations. And he's in the mountains. So it's about reaching higher, looking higher than the mundane, everyday little things. So keep your sights high. Whatever it is you want to accomplish, see the best outcome out of it, not what could go wrong necessarily. You could be aware. You do your, your what do you call it? Like in a business, you're always... Uh, you always, you, you make it, I forget the word, uh, where things could go wrong. You just have like a, a contingency plan on if this happens, then we can do this to resolve it. I forget the name. Maybe you guys can tell me. <laughs> uh, but reach higher within yourself. Like bring yourself, like have that confidence. Sit in your throne, like. Let's get some clarifiers and see if we can elaborate a little bit more on this for Aries. All right, let's see if we can get a clarifier on the Three of Wands. What do we have for the collective for the Three of Wands? Ooh, one flip. Oh, use your intuition. Things being set up is listening to yourself too. Listen to yourself. The intuition will lead you in the right, on the right path for your best outcome, for your best development, for the the best potential you can like. For you have a desire, you know you have a goal to reach. The journey to get there, that's the mystery. Follow intuition, because it won't go the way you think. It'll go the way you're led to. Uh, the way you sense, the way intuition will lead you. It's about trusting yourself. When it comes to clarifier for the five of wands, either it's inner or outer conflict, have patience. Temperance card came out. The universe is helping with balancing things out within and outside of you. First and foremost on the inside of you, right? And, and then it reflects on the outside. So you have divine help. And it says just be patient with yourself and with others as well. So what you give is also what you get, but what you set your like you set yourself a certain way, that's what's gonna be brought to you. You're like a magnet. 
So if you feel like you're in conflict within yourself, there's a lot of conflict that will start appearing in your life. So, and, and momentum of keeping these thoughts in your head, it just, it just builds up on whatever it is that you're thinking, constantly thinking. So keep your focus on, on what it is that, like the things that would bring you the most joy, the things that, not that you'll be happy when you get there, but feel it out before you get there. That's how you'll attract it. Okay, so what do we have for the Ace of Wands? Okay, Four of Pentacles. It says, watch your finances. I know sometimes we're like, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this. Oh, I have to get this, I have to get that. And you're spending, 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 and then nothing comes about. And you're like, oh, no. So, or uh, I'd like to do this, and someone is asking you to do something that's totally against your integrity, and and they're, they're, they're manipulating the situation, but you don't know that yet. And they're saying, well, if you want this, you'll have to do that. And it's, it says, hold to who you are, what is important to you. Also, on the 3D, it's about watch your finances, don't spend too much, don't go overboard, don't overindulge. Be responsible with who you are and what you have. Be thankful for everything that you do have. Like the foundation you built for yourself what you carry in your heart, and your beliefs. Your beliefs as in what is important to you. Like um, usually it will be things of value. So your morals, your ethics, your, your compassion, your integrity, your heart is the compassion as well as what do you hold close to your heart. So in accomplishing your desires, make sure you're true to you and that you're not giving everything away and you have nothing to show for, okay? So what do we have for clarifier for the King of Wands? What do we have as a clarifier? Woohoo! Death card, transformation. King of Wands and Death card. Out with the old, in with the new. And even on the card, there's, uh, in, in the imagery, there's the death of the old king for the new king to emerge. It's, it's about transformation. It's not about actual death. It's just about the end of something that already, uh, already served its purpose. And now it's time for brand new. So maybe a new approach is needed for you to get to your desires. And that would be okay. It may not even be conventional. It may be just totally so different. See, this king here, he had a certain way how things are done, how things are made, how it's supposed to be, how it's always been done. And now the death card comes in. No, it's time to let go of the old and get into the new. The new is this new, young, fresh perspective, this new, young child. This, it's, it's almost like, let's say I get into a new field. We talked about education. So you'd be brand new. Like we talked about education, how, how it would happen. Like if you had, a, you, you just finished your schooling. It's, it was a brand new subject, something you learned about. And, uh, and now you're going into the job, and now you're job searching. And uh, the way it was always done doesn't work. The way it was always done doesn't work, but if you let go of old ways that doesn't work, seek out new, fresh ways, there would be some success there. But in the beginning, it does say, follow your intuition. Listen to your inner promptings. It'll show you what it is that, it'll clearly show you what it is that's no longer needed because it just won't work. But what is needed will be revealed to you and you'll try it with faith. 
You'll try it with confidence, with step by step, step by step, having that patience and that trust within yourself. Okay. Trust in yourself. Okay. Well, that was an interesting turn of event. So usually, you know, you do this, you do that, you do that, then you pick a direction and you go. Now it's saying, no, no, it's not about that. It's about pick a direction, but don't be so close-minded about it. Pick a direction and leave yourself open for other things to come in to enhance your experience. Or else it won't go anywhere. It'll be stagnant. Let's get a clarifier on the emperor. For our Aries. Oops. Too many cards. What do we have for the clarifier for the emperor? Oh, page of swords. Message. Communication. You'll have the help you need. There'll be the uh, message. The emperor, yes, but the emperor is like uh, someone very independent, sits in his throne, he directs and he does everything. More of a solitary, somewhat of a solitary uh, energy because he, he just solely decides everything, but in a calm manner. And, and then there's a message that comes in to help or communication that comes in. Something that helps for you to enter this emperor status. It could be an email, it could be a phone call. Which makes sense in a way, because you have the King of Wands, which is the representation of the success of your, of your desire. But it's saying, let it go. It's saying, it's, it's, it's saying you're, Thing, let go of the stubbornness part, like of how you think it should be. But know your goal, yes. But then let go on the how to get there because your intuition is the one guiding you. When you do that, you'll be making your way on the emperor stage, but you'll have a communication about this. I know it's very... Uh, it's not very clear, clear, because there's many of you in the collective, but in some degree, I hope it makes sense. I mean, I got Aries in my chart. So it's really about following your intuition, making up your mind on what it is you do want to do. Pick a direction, go with it. Have patience. The internal struggles will, will soothe, will ease. Make sure you're not giving away your energy or, or, or what you hold of value, like your vital energy that you have for the day, you know, like don't get into arguments for nothing. Don't give any energy to anything that doesn't serve you. And also watch your finances. And from all the options that you have, like it's also a new beginning. So in this new beginning, also be mindful of not going overboard or overindulging. Keep your mind and goal, but allow your goal to come about in a way that's totally different than what you thought of before. Allow the freshness of perspective to come through you. That comes through you with intuition and allow once. And then you'll be like in an emperor status way. When you're sitting in that feeling, you're sitting there. You, you have everything all set up, everything even more set up than the beginning. And you... Communication will come through. When you align to the right energy for yourself, for your goal, for yourself, messages will come through. And then you'll have an in, you'll have another piece of the puzzle for the next step on your journey. Okay? So be vigilant. Listen to your intuition. That's the message for Aries and or fire signs in the collective at the moment. This is Tina from Cosmic Turtles. We'll see you next time.